Hello again, YouTube. So, uh, I was just listening to Kelly Clarkson Stronger. Um, the, you know, that reminds me how we think we're different, but we all want very much the same thing in life. I mean, we all want a wife like Kelly Clarkson um, to be woken up by rabbits every day. Um, um, by the way, I was just um, pulling out this shirt on and um, somehow it became inside out. Um, um, it was inside out, and um, I was putting it on. So obviously the um, um, the whatever the holes for the buttons. I don't know what the technical posh upper class term. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what the uh, formal term is. Um, uh, but the openings um, basically were um, uh, where one shoves it through a button um, were on uh, the left, and so the buttons on the right. Uh, no, that's the wrong way around. Um, the buttons were uh, on the left because they are on the, on the right now. So they they were on the left, and the openings were on the right. And I'd I'd, I'd um, in part because I was I remembered I had some videos to film before it got dark, but I didn't try putting it on like that way. And I'm sure you know as as I thinking as I turned it the right way, um, as I turned it in. The, inside out so that would be back how it originally was um i was thinking well really i should be able to adapt you know it's not it's just opposite but i felt such a like i suddenly felt like i was so far from home i was thinking um well that's a um i just you know i was looking down and i was thinking oh, no i can't because you're so used to um over the years your hands in a certain way um naturally grip. it's like when you're tying shoelaces or something um so I was like, I was suddenly panicking, I was feeling so far from home. It was like a silent panic, I was just, um, oh no, quick take that off um, before it gets too dark to film video. So I didn't actually try to see how it would feel to, um, but I just had this realisation, it just it suddenly dawned on me. What? No, this is so uncomfortable. Um, so anyway, um, oh, let me get to my whiteboard. Um, so, I started a... Um, I started a um, series about what on earth was that, um, starting with with the Bible, discussing different theories and stuff. I think I had some more on to it because I was rambling on. I don't think I mentioned uh, much. I was just um, I was just referencing certain ideas and uh, certain giving us background on some of my um, beliefs. Now today's um, now this is today's um, setup. You see. Uh, Derek Fold. I, I first, um, I first came across a uh, good old Derek in um, in Heartbeat. Um, I first came across good old Derek in Heartbeat, um, which is a, 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 I guess you would describe as a drama um, period drama set in nineteen um, sixties, uh, um, very rural. Um, uh, I think it's actually set in Norfolk where it's filmed because it's filmed in um, uh, uh, not Norfolk, sorry, not Norfolk. Um, uh, I didn't mean Yorkshire. I meant to say. Um, I think it's actually uh, filmed in York, uh, as set in Yorkshire rather. Um, um, I was watching loads of episodes about a year or so ago. Um, uh, but uh, yes, it's very. Um, so anyway, uh, the uh, North uh, Riding Constabulary, is it North Riding or East Riding Constabulary? Anyway, um, so Derek Folds plays uh, plays a police officer, Oscar Blayton, who we have here. But I've seen uh, what say around uh, late two thousands, about two thousand and nine, I discovered Bernard Woolley, who, funnily enough, Derek Folds played uh, before. So it's a funny. Um, yeah, yes, minister and yes, prime minister started in the nineteen eighties. Uh, I was born in the nineteen nineties, so that's probably I just, oh, can't type. I can't type. Can't write from this angle. Um, uh, but we'll try. Um, so, uh, so yes, minister was. Um, that does look weird. Um, yes, minister was nineteen eighties. Uh, I think around nineteen eighty three to about nineteen eighty nine. I think if you include just Prime Minister because they're sort of separate series but also so tightly rounded together their sequel or the, the latter is a sequel to the Yes Minister um, they're pretty much at the same show um, uh, so um, they so because I'm sure Yes Prime Minister just almost touched the 90s I think it just ended around 1989 just before the start of the 90s so um, uh, Yes Minister was 1980s I was born in 1992 so um in August, um, 
So, uh, so if 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 he was if he was a um, if if you remember being stuck in a storm at that day, um, the twenty third on the twenty first of August, um, uh, maybe it's because I was born. No, that's not true. Um, uh, so twenty first of August, nineteen ninety. Where were you? Yeah, um, tell me if you can remember. Where were you on twenty first of August, nineteen ninety two? I'm I'm just wildly guessing here. Was it a Saturday or something? Because um, my birthday. Thing often was on a Saturday, I think, or Friday. Um, but anyway, um, it's because you have um, obviously leap years and stuff as well. Um, uh, and I don't know which day I was actually born on because of the nature of giving birth. Um, you know, sometimes near midnight. I don't know when I was born. Was my point? Um, was I born near midnight? So which which day? Maybe I was actually born on the twenty second, or maybe I was born on the twentieth because you know, uh, I think I get get it the right way around. Demi Lovato was born on the twentieth, so she's a day just a day before me um i think that's the right way around and not a day after but anyway um so uh, uh so i was born so tell me what you were doing on the 21st of august 1992 if you have a diary and you don't mind going through it and sharing with us please let me know because i'd be really intrigued to know because it's obviously so fascinating in all kinds of ways especially youtube didn't exist so then um, videos weren't so accessible to consumers um it was a completely different world and stuff um the world's always changing and also some of the things that stay the same but um you know me not existing until that moment it's fascinating to know what people were doing because obviously people were busy doing whatever they were doing in you know their respective lives so i'd be interested to know what you were doing um obviously if you're a young audience you wouldn't have been born either so um uh, so that's hard for you to reflect upon or understand um or you can you say we, instead you maybe to share with us when you were born um i'd be interested to know and oh okay if you're younger um tell, tell me when you were born i can tell i can try and uh tell you what i was doing when you were born um um i can remember some of the things from a long time ago and some of the things from more recent a lot of the you know stuff in the past wasn't so good so i tried to block it out but there's a habit of coming back so um uh so if you're younger i'll, I'll try and um tell you what i was doing uh, when you were born, I'll try and whack my brains. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, somebody texted me, I think. Um, new secret admirer. <laughs> well, that's, um, that's been a long time coming. Um, I think it's a scam or something. Uh, uh, not scam, it's, I think it's from a social site, Meets Me or something, but I think it's just one of those, you know, ploys to get you to upgrade membership or something from a free package. So uh, I, uh, it's probably not to real people, just I doubt very much. Um, probably just some paid, you know, most of these sites are full of paid people. It's sad as me to say, um, uh, uh, paid staff masquerading as users. Um, uh, so yes, Minister, and um, was nineteen eighty. So obviously, I could not have been around um, originally. So I, I was about a teenager. I guess I might have seen it, you know, on TV. But you know, um, it was essentially because of YouTube. I came across it sooner or later. Somebody might have mentioned, "Oh, Derek Foles used to do something with Paul Edgerton," and then I thought, oh, "Okay, Google." And then I came across the, the wonderful world of Yes, Minister. Yes, but actually, no, it might be a newspaper. So I can't remember because you know, there's the classic Who reads of the paper sketch, which um, is based on an old um, joke. Um, so um i don't know how i first but it was around 2000 and you know, t between 2009 and 2010 i was yeah it's one of those years i think so they came later but uh hearts beat starring derek fold um i first saw as a child if i remember correctly it was always on a sunday we used to watch i don't know if that was a repeat or because i don't think they would show a new episode on sunday so maybe it was a repeat um but that that used to be our day after always remember after bath time or before because i always i don't know but i, I would have been four after because i always remember feeling we'd miss it i would miss it um uh so i think i don't know i, I don't know i can't, can't remember whether it was before or after but um you know on sunday the bath, bath sunday was bath time and we always used to um uh I always used to watch, enjoy watching Heartbeat. I always remember Adventurous and, um, you know, Oscar Blake and shouting and stuff. And I always, I was always in, and obviously Nick Berry, um, who was also connected to EastEnders. Um, obviously we could, we could get him on this chart as well. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, so I saw, um, just, I'm um, writing out a funny angle again. Um, going to be very rough uh, so so what we have here is um a mess 
a beautiful miss. Miss is good. Uh, so Nick Berry, um, who did he? Lofty, I think. I think his name, nickname was Lofty. Oh, Rick, uh, Rick, somebody, was it Simon Ricks, I think, the brother of the one who ended up in Holby City, Nick Jordan, I think he played. Um, oh, I managed to remember that, that quite well. I haven't seen Holby City in maybe five, ten years. Um, uh, no, not quite ten years, I don't think. Um, uh, so Nick Berry, um, st he started off in his standards at least out of the two his standards and heartbeat. Um, he went. He went to um heart. He later went to heartbeat to play um. Uh, oh, how could I forget his name? Um, I think his name was Nick in the program as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was Nick. What was his surname? Nick Rowan. Nick Rowan. Yeah, that was it. Nick Rowan. Um. Uh. So yeah, he he played Nick Rowan. So he went back in time. He started in the eighties, and he he went uh, to the sixties. So he time travelled. Uh, Derek Folds was in the eighties, uh, as in um. I, mean, I, think, I think I don't know if they were explicit, but they they're pretty much you know um, for, for when it was shown, it was the modern time um because um, and uh, Anthony J and Jonathan Lynn were um. Uh, you know they were getting secrets from civil servant from real civil servants and stuff i think often stuff um i don't know that had recently happened as some stuff long ago but anyway i think the point it was supposed to be contemporary um so um but then burn but then uh derek went back in time to the 60s with um oscar blayton um so where he met of course um nick berry um so so, so you could say both um uh, yeah, because he stayed in the study in 1985, so yeah, both time travel to the 60s. And um, uh, so, uh, Humphrey Appleby, um, I was writing here, um, uh, Claude, oh, wait, okay, I see, I suppose what a different thing. Um, never mind, I was thinking about something. Um, so the question is, whatever happened to Bernard Woolley? Now, obviously, we well, firstly, um, there's apparently there's a companion book, I've not read it, but um, they explain Bernard, I think he gets honors or something, and um, he goes on to um, I, I can't remember what, but um, become head of the civil service or something. I don't know, um, I don't know what happens to Humphrey, um, don't know what happens to Humphrey, but um, oh, there's more on that in a minute because I was thinking about this last night, I started writing what the bits that I didn't add it just now. Um, uh, so Humphrey uh, whatever happened to Bernard Woolley so we know there's that in the official story and that's good I'd like to read that, that book but I was just doing a bit of fun speculating what if that's not what happened what if let me just uh, erase 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 what if I paint you a different story and what actually happened was uh, let me just that's done. Whatever happened to um So Bernard Woolley So Derek Folds, Bernard Woolley, Oscar Blaketer now Imagine that Bernard and Oscar are the same person. I know, I know. Um, but just wait, wait, wait a minute. Um, Bernard Woolley finally tired of being enslaved by um, Sir Humphrey Appleby. Um, he he finally retires um, from the civil service, and he he uh, he ends up leaving to Yorkshire. Um, I put maybe put some clips in of both to give you something to um, dwell upon. Um, uh, he. Um, he ends up becoming. He ends up changing his name uh, to escape from Sir Humphrey Appleby, and he moves to Yorkshire, and he becomes a police officer, um, a very respected among his colleagues. But whatever happens to Humphrey Appleby? Well, I was just. It was so humorous, and it came to me yesterday. What if? I know. I know. Wait for it. What if? He. 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 he oh, I'm sorry. I could explain this. On that's the beauty of it. We're having fun. Um, uh, hey, what is that? Have Humphrey Appleby and Claude Jeremiah Greengrass. I remember his middle name to be Jeremiah. And um, Claude Jeremiah Greengrass um, are one and the same. <laughs> finally, finally down on his luck, finally kicked out of the civil service. One joke too far. I'm sorry, sir. Do you have an appointment? I'm Sir Humphrey Appleby. I know that's Sir Humphrey. Do you have an appointment? Hacker or his successor gets rid of him. What am I going to do about Humphrey? I can't sack him, can I? Um, 
he ends up changing his name or he forgets his memory becomes amnesiac and then um, he becomes a fraudster <laughs> it's just funny to imagine because of the course of the relationship you can see why it's so humorous um the relationship between oscar and um uh, claude <laughs> and especially sort of a reversal of sorts you know um uh Humphrey was always barking orders at Bernard, and then there's Oscar barking orders at Greengrass. Where's my key? Uh, the Prime Minister uh, told me to have it removed. That's not uh, correct. Would you mind, dear ladies? Nothing to do with you. Thank you. Can you kindly explain to me how your beat has become a practice track for the Grand National? It's Greengrass, Sarge. He's training a racehorse up and down the high street. Then stop him. Sort of very nice. Um, then he was a yin yang esque type of things, a sort of balance. So, so uh, green grass. Um, so the more I think about it today, it seems even funnier than it did yesterday. Um, uh, green grass. So Humphrey Appleby is actually uh, Claude Jeremiah Greengrass, who's who's completely, you know, he's broken. <laughs> he's uh, he's completely lost it. He's 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 reduced it to scamming people and. And and if you've ever suspected that there's a knowing look between them, Humphrey Appleby and uh, oh, sorry, between Claude and Oscar, it's because they both recognise each other. Then. I'm back. Sorry, I got cut off. I ran out. I ran. I ran out of memory again. Just as I was laughing about um, so I'm not sure exactly um, what you called. So I have to go back and see. But um, as in, I've not had time to review yet. Um, I just, I just um, there's some stuff in recycle bin, and that seems to have um. Even though deleting to recycle bin it stands the reason it says the windows you can now allocate more space. Only when it's deleted from recycle bin does it allow me to record again. So um, anyway, so here I am. I don't know how much time I've got. I've got oh, 40 seconds already. But um, so basically, I remember I was laughing. Um, so um, Claude is down on his uh, Humphrey Appleby, and there's, if you've ever suspected there's a knowing look between the two, it's because they are indeed um, they recognise that the that they are. Um, that they have met before. So, um, so Claude Greengrass and Humphrey Appleby are one and the same in my version of events. Um, so, Oscar, so Claude um, becomes so Claude, uh, Humphrey Appleby becomes Claude Jeremiah Greengrass. Um, Bernard Woolley becomes Oscar Blake, and there's this nice sort of yin yang esque uh, turnaround. Um. Oh, it's not inconvenient at all. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> A boyfriend. Sweaty Betty. Now it's Blake and barking, you know, uh, barking all this, and that's that's why he has such, um, you know, he senses Humphrey's presence within, uh, presence within Greengrass. So of course, this isn't what the writers imagined, but it's just a fun alternate universe. Um, what do you want, Greengrass? But now I go further because I remember I seen it. I think once. I don't know if it was on YouTube, but there's this Santa Claus uh, themed movie starring. Excuse me, both um, uh, Whoopi Goldberg and Nigel Hawthorne, and I remember how it's a very good movie, by the way. Uh, I think it is just called Claude. Is it called Claude uh, or Santa Claus? I can't remember. Uh, not Claude. I'm thinking of Claude Greengrass. Um, uh, Claus. I think it might be called Claus. I was looking at the DVD on Amazon yesterday, but I've completely forgotten already. But um, uh, you can find it online on multiple stores, I guess. Um, uh, I don't know. It's on YouTube anyway. There's a trailer, but um, starring Claude Greengrass and Santa. Um, um, so starring Claude, Claude Greengrass and Santa. I really lost it today. Um, starring. Uh, he looks a bit like Santa Greengrass. Um, it's starring um, uh, Claude. Uh, starring Nigel Hawthorne as Santa, and. Um, He's so touching stories. I recommend you watching it. But it's also um, it's it's so funny to imagine because um, looking at this, well, okay then, um, Humphrey Appleby either actually becomes Santa or he actually becomes Claude and then Santa. But either way, he ends up as Santa. Um, and that's a nice um, ending for his character. He finally redeems himself a life of scamming people and misdirection and chaos and all sorts. He ends up as Santa. So that was so. This was originally about Derek Foles, but I ended up um, uh, referring to Nigel Hawthorne's characters. Um, now another interesting one is of course Paul Eddington, who also stars in Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister. And uh, now the Good Life. Imagine the Good Life. <laughs> Imagine if Paul Eddington's character, yeah, I know. Uh, hang on. So, 
Now this gets very interesting, doesn't it? Um, I really need to uh, keep meaning to give this a proper wipe down, and um, I keep forgetting. Don't I? Don't I just? Um, so yeah, there's a, um, so what if, um, so what if Paul Eddington, oh, I need a new pen, this is running out, I think, I think so, uh, so, I'll keep this all in one video, what if Paul Eddington, as his respective characters in Yes Minister and, uh, uh, sorry, Good Life and Yes Minister and later Yes Prime Minister, one and the same. And what if Paul Eddington is, um, his character in The Good Life, um, is, now, would it be his character in The Good Life stays the same or his character in Yes Minister is who he always was? Well, in Yes Minister, I remember he started out as a journalist that they make a point of referencing now and again. Uh, so now he had a very sort of was it a bank he worked at in the good life but he had I remember there's a a guy he got a promotion from and he, he was a guy who turned up in George and Mildred I can't remember the ex's name but I recognised his voice and um, mannerisms and such um, so what if he started off uh, neighbours to uh, the goods and um, ended up becoming well, eventually, Prime Minister. I'll leave you with that to dwell upon and um, give me your ideas. Of Maybe we'll do another video of these if something else comes to mind randomly. Because I, like, I always like random ideas. Um, so I'll see you um, while I'm sleeping or later today um, if any random... Um, Oh, maybe that, that character is the same as that character it comes to mind. Um, maybe we'll do cartoons and video games as well. But uh, So... Uh, so now, just when you next watch this Prime Minister, just remember, Bernard eventually becomes a top police officer and he finally gets the best of Gringos. Well, no, actually he doesn't. They're kind of always in the truce, aren't they? So, <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure who comes out on top. What do you think? Minister, I must protest in the strongest possible terms. The mind boggles.